In 2019, the standard of care in the frontline treatment of HER2-positive metastatic breast cancer is trastuzumab, pertuzumab, and ataxane based on the Cleopatra regimen. This is going to be a hard regimen to beat because the median overall survival is close to five years for patients treated with the triplet combination, a statistically significant and I would argue clinically very meaningful improvement in overall survival. And the standard of care gold standard for second line treatment is TDM1 based on the AMELIA clinical trial. In AMELIA, the phase three trial randomized patients to receive TDM1 versus lapatinib capecitabine. TDM1, the antibody drug conjugate, was shown to lead to a statistically significant, not only improved median progression-free survival, but very importantly, improved overall survival. And so breaching that hurdle as well um, in the second line setting is going to be difficult for a new drug because it did meet both PFS and OS endpoints. Patients generally feel well on TDM1. It's, it's not a, a typical cytotoxic chemotherapy because it's linked to the HER2 antibody, so women don't have to lose their hair or generally feel bad while they're on it, although there are side effects. Um, it's better tolerated, in my opinion, than standard chemotherapy. But the median PFS is 18 months, so half of patients will have their disease progress by 18 months, and virtually everyone will progress after that. And for this reason, the third line setting and beyond remains a rich area for us to be evaluating new HER2-targeted therapies um, and try and improve outcomes for patients who are resistant to uh, these two therapies.